People trying to suppress the facts about Israel dishonestly contact YouTube and claim my video was a terms of service violation. It was getting a lot of views, most viewed number 16, and they can't stand that, so they use dirty tactics. Here's that video. We're in a deep hole because we're so heavily biased in favor of Israel, and the whole world knows it, and they're astounded by it. They can't. They can't comprehend why America, with its great cherished traditions, would close its eyes to the dreadful punishment that we have enabled Israel to inflict on virtually defenseless people. I spoke with the head military lawyer for the IDF, Joel Zinger, and I said, you know, I spent two weeks here, and it's clear you people are inflicting Nuremberg crimes on the Palestinians, exactly what the Nazis did to the Jews. What's your explanation? He said, uh, military necessity. Notice, he, he didn't disagree with me. I said, uh, that argument was rejected at Nuremberg when the lawyers for the Nazis made it. So then he said, uh, well, we have public relations people in the United States, and they handle these matters for us. Anybody who's lived any amount of time in the Middle East begins to see the other side of it, I think. I was arrested nine times, so I have been repeatedly arrested and harassed. The first time I was arrested, I was 15 years old. The norm was physical torture. I mean, you. You get physically tortured until you faint, and then they will splash water in your face and start again. And that Israel calls moderate physical pressure. To me, it didn't look as moderate. They don't know that yeah. that's what they're supporting, and, and I think that's the problem. Israel and the lobby, um, or Israel through the lobby, are really running our policies. In fact, it's worse now than it's ever been before. We have a, a White House that's totally dominated by Israelis. It's sad that the, that the Amer Americans, who are so concentrated on helping Israel, they don't give a hoot, so far as I'm concerned, about whether it hurts the United States or not. We're undermining American security. The bad things are going to happen to the Americans, and that, above all, is what I wish to avoid seeing.